the fast of Daniel. 21 days to feed on the word. Good morning to all of you, and may God bless you on this ninth day of our fast of Daniel. Days are passing by very fast, right? We are already on our ninth day. And I hope that you are able, you have been able until now to remain faithful to your fast. But I would like to start our today program talking about those or talking to those who perhaps for one for some reason you let's say you you break your fast you were unable to be faithful and on to what you were doing so for some reason you just you you feel even bad because of that you say well um i just couldn't resist let's say resist the the temptation of watching news or a movie or go to my social media and see news and this and that. Well, you shouldn't give up doing your fast. Let me say, tell you this, because if you say, well, ah, since I'm not doing it properly, it's better not to do it. No, it's wrong. If you were not doing it properly, and you really, you really uh, believe the fast of Daniel is for your own good, is to improve your faith, your relationship with God, you should make an effort to invest more in your fast. And instead of just stopping doing, instead of that, you should say, well, I will keep doing my fast and the days that I still have to do the fast, I will do it much better than the ones that I did until now. I will take this more seriously. I will give more from myself. I will pay more attention because I know the devil is always using something to tempt me to distract me, make me forget about the fast. So I will pay even more attention. That's not a reason for you to give up. No, if you give up, you will only prove to yourself that you really do not want to have the Spirit of God. You do not want to have this new spirit within you. That's what you will prove to yourself. So if you really want to please God, you really want to have your relationship with him improved, my friend, you will do this last 12 days with more strength, with more commitment that you were doing until now. So understand that. Do not give up. This is my advice to you, of course. By the end of the day, it's your decision. But this is my advice to you if if it happened to you that for some reason you break your fast but if you are you are doing your best and you are faithful to what you are doing so keep going keep going do not give up do not surrender yourself and uh, seek the spirit of God every single day yesterday we had a wonderful service in all our branches, we seek the Spirit of God. We had the opportunity to surrender our souls to Him. My friend, if you were with us yesterday, I am sure the Holy Spirit touched your heart, touched your soul, your mind, your spirit, and He showed to you exactly what you have to do. So if you were not with us yesterday, Sunday, I want to invite you to be with us this coming Wednesday. So you don't miss that so special service we'll have also this Wednesday. But I would like to share with you this uh, verse of the Bible that tells us about the Spirit of God. It's written here, but you are not in the flesh. This was Apostle Paul talking with the Romans on chapter 8 verse 9. But you are not in the flesh, 
but in the spirits. Here, spirits is with the, um, um, the refers to the spirit of God, sorry. So, in the spirit, if, and then it comes, if indeed the spirit of God dwells in you. So, you see that when we have the spirit of God, he dwells in us, we are in the spirit. So, we live in his presence. He's part of us. Now, if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, he is not his. And this is uh, um, something that we cannot run away from it. We cannot hide ourselves from this truth. So if you do not have yet the baptism with the Holy Spirit, it's important that you understand this. You do not belong to him. You may have faith in him. You may um, participate in the church, universal church or any other church. But if you do not have the spirit of God within you, so you do not belong to him. And why? You may ask, but why? Because look, one of the uh, um, proofs, let's say, or I wouldn't say a sign, but proof of someone that someone gave, surrendered her, their entire life, their souls to God, is when they receive the seal of the salvation, which is the Holy Spirit. He's the seal of God's salvation. So, if someone doesn't have yet the Holy Spirit, is because that person haven't gave yet or didn't give yet their entire life completely surrendered their souls to him. And this is something for you to think about it and also for you to make your own decision. And if you say, well, but Bishop, how can I know what I didn't give yet to God? I already told him that I, I, I give him my life. How can I know what is lacking? That's something that you should ask him with all sincerity, with all your heart. And say to God, look, if there is something that I, I didn't give gave you, and I don't know what thing is that, because from my understanding, I already gave you everything, my whole life, my whole life. But if there is something that is lacking, please tell me what is it. So I can give to you because I'm willing to give everything, my whole life to you. I want to know you. I want to have salvation. I want to belong to you. But you really need to mean this when you say it. It's not just by saying. You need to be true, sincere. And you know when you know that you are being sincere when you understand the importance of the Holy Spirit in your life. If you understand who is the Holy Spirit and why do we need him, well, you will know if you are or are not being sincere in your prayer to him, when you seek him. Because when someone understands the, who is the Holy Spirit, and why do we need him so much? Even the way that person seeks the Holy Spirit, even the way they, uh, uh, they do their prayers, what they say to God, the way they worship God when they are in the church, when they are at their homes, the way they uh, surrender themselves to God, they show that to him. And sometimes 
It seems that some people, they don't really understand who is the Holy Spirit and why do they need Him so much. So I would like now to invite you to this prayer. I would like to invite you to join me in this prayer where we'll seek now the Holy Spirit and surrender yourself to Him so you may be baptized now with the presence of God. When we pray to God, we can receive strength, courage, faith, peace and anything we sincerely ask for. Take advantage of this moment, close your eyes, and raise your thoughts to God. It's time to pray. And we come to you, my Lord, through this prayer where we have this only request, only one request, to be baptized with your Spirit. The only request that we have is to ask you to pour down your Spirit upon those who join us in this moment, so special moment, wherever they are, wherever they uh, talk with you, some of them perhaps they don't know exactly what to say. They may think they, they've already told you all that they, they had to say and they don't find more words to, to say to you. They already told you, I give you my life, I give you my soul, my heart. But my Father, the truth is that every time that we come to you, we have many things to say, even if it's just giving thanks for the faith that you gave us. Even if it's, if it's only to praise your name and to say to you how blessed we are because we have your thoughts in our minds. We now can think like you. We think about us not only as bodies who have needs, but we think about us as souls and we can understand the importance, the value of our salvation. That's why every day we ask your forgiveness and we are always thinking about what we are doing, our decisions, our choices, and we allow the choices that are in behalf of our soul to prevail in our life. And we are willing to lose those things that the heart wants, but they are against the salvation of our soul. So here we are, my Lord, right now before you, with our hearts wide open, for your presence to come upon us, inviting your spirit to come and enter our life, enter our minds. And that's what we ask you now, my Father. Come with your spirit upon this man. Come with your spirit upon this woman. Come with your presence, my Lord, upon them and make them have this new life inside of them. Make your spirit prevail above all other things. All things, my God, all desires, all thoughts, all personal plans. May your spirit prevail above all that. Oh, my God. And they can now realize they need you more than what they thought they would need. 
and those who are now humbling themselves, those who are now opening their hearts, their minds, those who are now, my God, pouring out their souls, pour down their souls upon you or before you, I ask you now, come with your spirits upon them. Come with your spirit now, my God, upon this life. Put your seal, my Father, now in this soul, the seal of the salvation that brings peace to them, that brings the certainty they belong to you, that brings the certainty they are born from you, they belong to you, like we just read here in the Bible. Those who do not have the Spirit of Christ are not His. So my gods, they want to have your Spirit. This man wants to have your Spirit. He's telling you, you can see in his prayer, you can, my God, I know that you can, you, you, you see inside his soul. You, it's more than just words. You see what is inside this person. And you really know they mean what they say. They really want to have your spirit. You can see the, the, the tears on the eyes of this woman, my God. Ah, my Jesus. Make them now receive the glory that comes from you. And bless them with the spirit of salvation. May this person be now baptized with the Holy Spirit. My friends, wherever you are, receive now the Spirit of God. Receive now the seal of the Spirit of God. Be now baptized with the Holy Spirit and receive salvation. Receive that salvation of God, the salvation of your soul. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, my Lord. We thank you for this fast of Daniel, for this faith. Thank you for the understanding that we need your presence within us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. You may open your eyes and take a deep breath. Amen. Believe that you are this close to receive the Holy Spirit. And if you say, Bishop, I was now baptized with the Holy Spirit. Amen for that. If you were baptized with the Holy Spirit, share with us your testimony. Let us know. Go to your church today. Talk with the pastor. If you go to Blacktown, talk there with Pastor Ricardo. If you go to Chatsu, talk with Pastor Victor. If you go to Dandenon, talk with Pastor Aaron. If you go to uh, uh, Footscray, you can talk with Auxiliary Axel there or in Queensland with Pastor Alessandro or here in Liverpool. You can come and talk with me or tell to one of the pastors and they will give me the message. <laughs> Good news, you have to share them. But if you are not yet baptized with the Holy Spirit, do not give up. Do not give up. Do not surrender yourself. You must persevere with the faith and not just praying. No, every time that you seek the Holy Spirit with us here in the broadcast or in the church, you need to be sure that that will be the day you will receive the Holy Spirit. Seek him with this certainty and he will come upon you. Okay, well, tonight's. 10 p.m. We'll be here also live with our broadcast, our journey towards the campaign of Israel, the change of spirits. And I want to invite you to join us in our tonight's broadcast also. And today we have the special service or the services for uh, uh, in behalf of your finances. And today we are doing this turnaround, the turnaround for this second semester. All the things that you didn't achieve in the first semester of the year, you will do 
you will use your faith, follow God's instructions, so you may achieve them on this second semester. That's why we've called today's service of the turnaround, the financial turnaround. 10 a.m., 3 p.m., or 7.30 p.m. May God bless you all abundantly and see you tomorrow. The Fast of Daniel, 21 Days to Feed on the Word, 